Our decision desk has now made it official and they are comfortable declaring that Andy Bashir, the Democratic incumbent governor of Kentucky, has been reelected, that he will defeat his Republican challenger, the state, the sitting attorney general, Daniel Cameron. Uh, we've been uh, no surprise if you've been watching all night. We've been seeing county after county come in in Kentucky with Bashir running ahead of how he ran in 2019, not by leaps and bounds, but by several points, just county after county. The pattern very clear at this point. This is a state he won by less than one point four years ago. He had a very high approval rating, very high personal favorability rating. The Cameron campaign and Republicans had been hoping to attach Bashir to Joe Biden, to the National Democratic Party, both of which remain very unpopular in Kentucky. But it looks like that personal popularity and that high job approval rating for Bashir have won out. He is going to get a second term. Uh, he's the second Bashir to get a second term as governor uh, of Kentucky. His father was a two-term governor as well uh, not that long ago. Uh, it, just again, we can show you we got a big batch of votes from Louisville, Jefferson County, uh, core Democratic County. We said this would be a big tranche of Bashir votes. A few of those came in just a little while ago. And you look around the Lexington area, and I think you really see it, though, the improvement for Bashir over last time around. He's running six points better in Fayette County, second biggest county in the state than he did uh, uh, four years ago. You look up in Scott County, uh, he's running at 55 percent basically now. He was under 50 four years ago there. Take a look at the state capital, Franklin a County, where Frankfurt is. He got 61 percent of the vote here four years ago. He's at 68 and a half with almost 95 percent in. So that has been the pattern. These big Democratic vote producing counties, he's getting more votes out of in Republican counties. He's still losing them, but he's not losing them by as much. It all adds up to what's going to be a victory for Andy Bashir in a second term in the governor's mansion. You know, 